I thought to do today's video from outer space. But I'm already bored. There's no atmosphere. No atmosphere. Oh, never mind. Let's get on with it. I'm John, and this is Fun with Filmore. Let's have some fun. Green screen, or to use its official name, chroma key, allows you to block off a particular colour in a video, which can then be replaced by another colour, image, or another video. Green is the most popular colour, hence the name, green screen. But blue is also sometimes used, but any other colour can also be used. Getting the lighting right is very important, as we'll see later. So, let's see how we can use this in Filmora 13. Just before we start, it's important to know that there are different types of backgrounds you can use. You can use a green cloth, or you can use a portable green screen. Now, it's important you get the right colour green or near enough. It's like a lime green. It's something that's got to be furthest away from any other type of green or the colour of your skin. So let me show you the one that I use at this moment in time. So this is the portable green screen that I use. Let's get out the bag and I'll show you how it works. Sorry about the noisy bag, by the way. It's a bit rustly. <laughs> okay. Beauty about this one is it folds up quite small into this bag so you can take it anywhere. It's got a blue and a green side on it as well, which I'll show you. Okay, so just boot that out the way. <laughs> so it's got a green and a blue side and it folds up nice and small and then it just pops open. Jesus! <laughs> that was a bit mad. <laughs> but there we go. We now have a portable green screen. Right, let me show you how I created the opening clip using that green screen. I've got my footage here, so I'll drag it onto a new timeline, the second timeline, because this wants to be at the top and we want to see the planet behind us. So let me just drag the planet image down. That's just a static image. I'm going to make that the same length as the clip and I'm going to mute or just silence the audio on the first clip. Let me make that bigger first. I'll fill the timeline. Now the easiest and quickest way to reduce the volume or silence it completely on a clip is to click and drag the line there because that's your, your volume and your audio. So I'll drag that right down. So we've got no audio now. Now at this moment in time, you can see I've got a bit of green screen behind me and the rest isn't green. So we need to mask that out first. So click on the clip, go to mask, and then we're going to do a draw mask just basically around the edge. So I'll come just off the screen first and then I'll go around the green there like so. Actually, I'll drag that out a bit further in a second. I'll show you how to do that. So for example, the first pieces here where my arms may move, I'm going to drag them out as far as possible and this one as well. Just in case my arms move a little bit. And I'll do the same on this side as well. As far as I can go before we see the black. That should be enough. So that's a nice mask. Now we can use chroma key or green screen on this. Again, make sure we're still on the clip. Go to AI tools. And because this is green, as soon as we activate chroma key, it disappears. Let me just um, hide the mask or the outline of the mask. I just did that by clicking away. So you can see now, there I am on the planet. I'll just move myself a bit more central by clicking on the video clip and moving the position to the left. And there we go. There's no audio, I've left it off so I can talk over it. So there you can see, very easily done and it's a great effect. So that's how I did it with mine. Let me just delete them. And now I also want to show you how you can use other clips and other green screen effects. So let me just go to stock media and I've saved a couple of clips here. So this one, for example, is a clip of a family. I'll drag that onto the first timeline. Now under stock media as well, in the library section, if you scroll down, there is a section for green screen for you to have a play around with. So click on that. And there's a couple of green screen options there. I'm going to use the old film one or the film one, should I say, sorry. So I shall drag that over onto the video. 
Now it's a bit shorter than it than this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually trim the video down just to match the green screen for the purpose of this tutorial. Click there, click on there, and press delete on your keyboard. And now you can see we've got the green screen on the top, the video underneath. And let me just uh, prove that. I'll hide the green screen, and there it is there. And what we want to do is be able to see the video behind where this green is. So we click on the green screen piece of footage. We go to mask, sorry, we go to AI tools, not mask. <laughs> and then we click on chroma key. And again, this will activate straight away because it's the correct color green. So there you go. You can see right through that now. So there we go, it's like a lovely little bit of footage of a piece of film. Let's see what else we can do. I'll delete them. I've got another piece of stock media that I kept of a mouse running around, so I'll put that on the bottom track. I hope there's nobody out there scared of mice. <laughs> Lovely little creatures, they won't do you any harm. So let's just play that initially. So there we go, it's a little mouse having a bit of a scurry. And I'm going to import a piece of footage that I downloaded from one of my subscriptions. Let me just drag that in first. Okay, and it's this one's on a blue screen, just to show you that it'll work with both blue and green or any other color, but again, we'll get into that in a minute. So again, I'll just change, I've said again, I keep saying again, again, again. <laughs> My wife keeps telling me off. So I'll just go to the end of that clip and I shall trim the bottom clip to match it. So they're both the same size, delete on the keyboard, get shut of that. And now we have blue. We wanna get rid of this blue so we can see the video underneath. Click on the clip, go to AI tools, click on chroma key. Now nothing happens because we're not using a green color. You can select a color from there if you want, but you know, that's not the exact blue that you want. Like for example, that one is not the exact blue. What you better do is there's a little eyedropper next to it. Click on that. Go over to where the blue is, anywhere on the blue. Click on it. Bang, it's gone. How fantastic is that? And now when we play the footage, we can see the cat's trying to get the mouse. <laughs> I've got a strange sense of humor, I'm like, but there you go. I think that's really clever and really funny, actually. I'm going to use that in a future video. <laughs> so that's what we can do. Right, another one I want to show you is when we use a color that isn't green or blue, but the lighting is incorrect. So let me just import some more footage. Right, so this time I'll use the space image again at the back, and I'm going to drag this piece of footage over the top. Just make that a bit longer and I'll trim this footage down to match it. That'll do there. Press delete on the keyboard to delete what you don't need. Now you can see here we've got orange, which we can get rid of. We can get rid of the orange color, but there's different shades of orange in the background. So it's going to be really difficult. Not only that, the girl's face and this um, bib and brace, I think it is, that's also a similar shade. So this is going to be really hard and I've got a feeling it's probably not going to work. So let's just give it a go anyway. So click on the clip, go to AI tools, click on chroma key. Now don't forget, well, a little bit of color went out there because it must be a, like a, a type of green. But what we want to do is click on the eyedropper and then choose one of these shades of orange. See what happens, you lose the gale completely. Let me just reset that by, or undo it by pressing Control and Z. So let's do the eyedropper again, and let's do a darker shade of orange, see what happens near to the top. Same thing, we'll lose the girl. Now what you can do, if the colors are just a little bit out, you can do a tolerance and play around with the tolerance. You can see here that the girl's now come back in, but unfortunately she's still lost all her like, um, skin color and the bib and brace color is still out. Now that, that video still works and it might work well for the ghost, <laughs> but she's not a ghost. But I'm just trying to show you that you have to have the correct lighting or the correct background, one color background to make this work correctly. So that's green screen and chroma key. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you use it. I have loads of fun playing around there. I've used it in quite a few of my previous videos. So um, if you do do any, please show me them. I'd love to see them. 
drop a link in the comments below and please let me know what you thought of this tutorial as always i really do appreciate it please don't forget to like subscribe and click on the notification bell and as always thank you very very much for watching now go have some fun